There we go. We're recording now. Um, hey, YouTubes. I'm Grimwit. With me is Doom Lad. This is Spectacle. There. Yep. I've, I've done the intro. I Flawless. I distinctly remember that um, we, we've we made quite a bit of progress, but also we've just kind of hit a wall. This, this game, if you know what to do, is not very long, but you could say that about all of these kinds of point-and-click adventures, which it makes it impossible to tell uh, when you're looking up video walkthroughs. Since there's no hint system, it's just, it's just video walkthroughs, then I can't tell how far we are into the game. Yeah, that is true. My phone. My it joke is, is that the phones are dished like the butt. What? Cr cross. What are you talking? About? Mm. All right. Um. It's like banana phone, but with butts. Banana butts. No, I was thinking more like the phone, but. I mean, as long as you loop it, banana butts probably works. So. I am convinced that the Blothany Stone has something to do with this entrance, but I don't know how to use it. Yeah. I don't, I don't know. Read the previous comment. That isn't the hard part to test. Uh, to fit the cheeks is the previous comment. I have, I have filled my obligation. I just realized that they put a space after the word move that keeps it from being centered and also kind of tells that this was done on like Unity or some modern system. This isn't a custom like old school thing. I don't know. Yeah, all all of them are left aligned like that in the same way. Oh shoot, I didn't even notice that. There's also another problem. So anytime I switch um <laughs> I don't know if you can hear this over Discord. Every time I switch expressions on my avatar, it causes Windows to have a little error bleep. So just getting these brings oh. like it's playing the harp constantly. The mic doesn't pick it up, fortunately. Oh, apparently DC hears it. Yeah, is that the window sound? Yeah, it's it's every time I switch. I don't know why it's doing that. But, like, it's doing that with this program. And it doesn't do that with any of the other programs, so... Oh, well! <laughs> I'm just gonna live yep. with it. Um, okay, so there's an alligator in here. Can I... Throw the Blothany gym into the alley. Did I try this already? No. And it doesn't make sense to me either, right? So. Yep. So I don't know what I'm doing. I. What what do we got left? Did you examine the gym? Yes. It's a jewel unlike yep. any other you've seen. Staring at it, you can swear you see the cosmos. And we know this is the right one because the vizier had said that... Um, cosmic gem, yeah. Yeah. It'll keep the thieves from plundering a cosmic jewel most precious. More importantly, yep, the hidden and it isn't the southern land. The ju hidden jewel won't will not tempt the odd keeper from abandoning its post or protecting what remains of our dear king. Now it could just be color, but I feel like that's a clue, right? Because we have this statue guarding the tomb. What is Baldachin? Is that a name, do you think? I don't know. Give the gym to the statue? Tried it. We'll try if it again. If you examine the statue, what does it say? Good question. 
A uh, statue of a Shah's hand is in the gripping pose. It may be able to hold something else. Oh! All right, well, let's um, give it the saber. No. Okay. We do have that sacred bow. No. Um, we could give it a, a flute or a shovel. No. <laughs> like, is it just the hand that I need to click on? No, I think it's... Yeah, it's just this upper part. The shovel I thought would actually be work. Or at least the saber, right? No. I hadn't thought of using the sun coin, but I don't know what else to use the sun coin on now. I can't even remember what it was used for last time. I'm sure I used it, I just can't remember. Scroll makes it sound like the statue wants the Blothany gem. Yeah, right? I know. You'd think that would be it. But that's not what you need right now. Don't let us put the pole arm back in? I'm afraid to. I want to use that pole arm. No, well, we don't need it to support the rock. That's true. Actually, can I use the Blothany gem under the pole arm? And I can't use it onto the uh, sword because anytime you change cards, it undoes everything. What else? We never encountered the scorpions, too. I wonder if that was what was in the pit and they just died because scorpions don't live forever. Mm. Oh, we died when we fell down the pit because we don't have any rope or ladder or anything. We do have a sacred bow. I don't Wait, wasn't one of the ladders in the tower loose? Could we take that with us? Oh, it had a loose peg, and what happened is if you pushed that, it caused the shelf to reveal a flute. Yep. I mean, we can go back there. But... Uh, that's right, this is the book that said that they were trying to go up there for a reason. So there's this, can I yep. use the bow with the hole? No, that doesn't work. And I don't really have anything like a ladder or a rope, so I don't, I don't think that would actually do much. We have... She's yeah, that's, that's the ladder that was kind of loose. I, really? Yeah. Ladder leads further up. You sure? It, like, just can we take it? Um. Oh, that one's. Cover is not fixed to the wall either. Well, this one, this ladder actually is recognized as a ladder when I examine it. Take it. Nope. Can't take that. Ah. There's the red. Oh, there's the orange star. I wonder. Um, let me use the Blothany gem on this star. No. Can, can I use it on the moon? Huh. Is that down there? Is that a vine I can take? No. How could such a tall, tall structure have been built? But more importantly, why would such a fierce snake be given a home way up here? And how, who's been feeding it? <laughs> there's no, there's no like rats or anything. There's just like a basket and a snake. Yep. A bow is in a tree branch. That's true. It could just be a tree branch. I'm pretty sure that's what it is. Or like a tree branch or 
something. It was, uh, it was Wait, connecting... Cut it off, that plant. Yeah, the one with the fruit. So we have a bottle. Yeah, we have a bottle. Well, we, we, don't, still... we don't have the bottle. No, no, no. We, we have a bottle that it. needs capturing. And I thought yeah, that originally was what the bow was for. But it's too far out. Yep. We had some poison. Like, what do, What poisons piranhas? Can I take the, the dead snake? Nothing to take. Bullshit! There's a snake head. And look, mushrooms. And this ladder. God damn it, I can take everything. And I want to take this girl's clothes. Yeah, it's like clothes. the old joke. It's the joke. What are you talking about? There's plenty to take. He just only stole the stuff that wasn't nailed down. It's, this ladder's in pretty great condition. It's pretty great. So far, all the spells we've got, except for like two, are relative. Well, I guess they all have their own purposes. But like, they're, they're all one use hits. Right? Alakazam was one use yeah. only. Uh, Niach was one use. Open Sesame was one use. So I guess I do. Yeah. I guess about half then. Because Saf is useful. O'Clock is useful. I'm sorry. Overload Clock is useful. <laughs> Polypheme. This stuff important on the side here. Huh. Where's my shovel? Okay. Yeah, worth a shot. Yeah. So we have a monster that needs killing. We've got fireflies that needs capturing. I don't know what to do with that. Yep. Um, we have some piranhas that need killing and a crocodile that needs killing. And we don't have even one gun. We also have this uh, blue key. What do I want to use this on? Myself. It doesn't work. <laughs> Examine it. If only. The key is blue is the calming sea. Calming sea. You don't think you have to throw the key in to calm the piranhas, do you? I doubt it, but I don't have any other ideas. I wonder how that affected the time. It's already 3.30 and you can see the sun rising through the hills in the, in the distance. Hill? seeing if there's anything insect buzzing around its body is especially luminescent use key on water on bottle on self on piranha yep. it is once again feels like I'm just QAing now I think the Blothany... No, that wouldn't work. There's a gentle waterfall pulling into the river. They never actually give any hints that there is deadly piranhas in here. Yeah, they probably just figure it's kind of a meme at this point. No, I don't think we can use the pole arm. I think we tried that. Yeah, well, wait. try it again. No, that doesn't have any use at the moment. 
like it's also hard to judge distance. I'm standing at the shore, and apparently this bottle is far enough away from me that a pole arm won't reach it. Yep. You'll have to get into the water to retrieve it. Okay, music will not suit this the heart of the savage beast here. Throw an abacus at it. Or the piranha to do your taxes. What if this is a red herring and like you can't actually get this bottle? Oh. And then we have this. I forgot about this puzzle. So clearly the answer to this is to fill this with water. That's but, what we assume. Well, I'm assuming that it, it seems right to me. And yep. we've got that monastery. That's right. Yep. The monastery to the east. There is no keyhole. Did we try open sesame on this? I don't know. Uh, it doesn't, nothing happens anyway. What about Alakazam? Oh, that's a good point. I'm pretty sure we tried Alakazam on it already. Yep. Ah. Uh... Wait. Calming Monastery and Calming Blue Key. Right. There's no keyhole. Actually. Yeah, that's fair. Actually, you might be onto something. Let's go into Pixel Hunt. Maybe there's a keyhole somewhere? Play tiles. Nothing standing out that might be a keyhole. But it does yeah, make I'm sense not that anything either. It does make sense that this is where the key would be. Would go to. Yeah. It'd be really funny if I could glitch it out by using the key on the move marker. No. Alright. <laughs> it was worth a try. Yep. Um? Use the pull arm to Did we try the... just opening the door? It won't open. Dang. If it were that simple, that would be really funny. <laughs> yeah, that would be. That would be so dumb. What happens if I look at the building from over here? It's a monastery up ahead. There's a path leading directly to its front gate. Huh. Hmm. I was thinking along the lines of it saying this is a good place to bathe. I don't think I have anything to bathe. Yep. Uh, it's 10.30 in the morning. Um. Ideas? No, not really. Oof. 
Ideas from the peanut gallery? I suspect one of those is you. Eh, probably. So we got one extra mystery person. I think that's DC. Ah, no Falcon, I noticed. I meant we've got four. What? We do? Weird. No. I just realized there's this little road here. No. Uh, I feel like we've exhausted the palace. Yeah, I could believe that. Hey, I was right. She does have two sets of clothes. So now she's got one in the tower and one in the palace. So she's just leaving her clothes everywhere as she disappears. Look at me, I'm all fancy, but really I'm just littering. Can I take that banner? No. Wait, the rod holding okay. up the banner isn't fixed to the wall either? Gimme. A hooked rod? Okay, that'll probably get us the bottle. I'm very angry right now. If not the bottle, then probably the... F the. Is that another spell? No, it's not we another spell. We already got that We already spell. got that spell, yeah. Alright, let's try the fruit first. <laughs> If we can't get this fruit, yeah. the one by the foot, get the fruit by the foot. Oh. I'm so fucking clever. Okay, so no. God fucking damn it. <laughs> yeah. What have we learned? Look at everything, even if it doesn't make sense. Yeah. All right, what does this look if like? If it gave, it could have given us a hint with the pole arm saying it doesn't have anything to hook onto the bottle with. It could have said that, but it didn't. It just said we had to get into it. You remove the torn no the cork from the bottle and take the note inside. Uh, you up for some reading? Yep. Mm -hmm. The tattered and faded piece of parchment within... Uh, oh, it's an elaborate illustration. Okay. This seems like a bit much. What could it mean? Gee, I wonder. I don't know either. Could be anything. So was that six tiles from the door? I'll look at it again. Oh, okay. I need some kind of net to, to get that thing. Yeah. I was kind of thinking. Would have been cool if it worked, though. Get that tiny nozzle of the bottle. Okay, let me look at this again. Um, One, two, three, four, five, six. Or just, yeah, three white tiles from the center. Nope. Two, three, so here. So if I examine this one, something about this tile. I'll actually open the tile. There we go. That looks lewd. Is it me? It's probably me. Nope. Gotta get your mind out of the gutter. And into another gutter. This gutter. Uh, the key fits and turns easily. You hear a soft click from the door. There we go. Excellent. Wow, new area. We're, yeah. we're making strides. And we could have done this ages ago, but we couldn't have known. Yeah. The marble bust must be in the likeness of someone important to this land. There's a seam along its neck. Hey, well, let's open it. That's something you can just open. I disagree. Just examine the room. This way leads outside. No, this way leads inside. 
We need to use... It's a carpet. We need to use our torch to burn it. I have no torches. The okay. corridor seems busy with many painted walls and a curious stone bust resting upon a shelf. Now let's look at these. What do we got? There's a giant mirror on this wall that depicts a majestic giant falcon protecting a ship at sea. Boy, is that in the wrong place. We've seen a fountain, but we haven't... Or a falcon, but we haven't seen a ship or sea. Yep. The door at the end of the hall is closed. Take the bust. Oh, holy shit. That, that is not what I had. I, thank you, thank you, DC. Apparently you can <laughs> take the bust. Um, I have yep. the slight turn of the you lift. Just tore the head off. Who is it? The head of the Marvel bust. You wonder who it could have been modeled after. My God. My God, this yep. game. You were just practicing your neck snaps on the bust, and whoops, head came right off. It could be like invincible, and it's, I'm not killing you, I'm just paralyzing you from the neck down. <laughs> it's a notch that it can be easily reattached. Oh! Okay. Um, we have all the keys. Me. I don't know why I'm doing this, but nope, okay. Okay, nothing of that. I'm, can I open the rug? No. Can I take the rug? No. <laughs> can I flute the rug? No. Alright. Oh, you and your high flutin' ways. R. This looks kind of like that one place in the palace that we had to deal with the uh, flame spirit. Yeah, it kind of does. Part of the wall looks slightly different and there's no painted trim. What the f Oh, wait, there's a door? Yep, Alakazam. Large balcony area that overlooks the river. Yeah, but I'm still looking. Bars block the door where you cannot go past. Yeah, Alakazam. Until we get our turn into gas form spell. Well, it looks like we'll need it, because the only thing <laughs> on the other side of this wall is another barred door. Cool. Revealing a path. I highly disagree. Bars block the door where you cannot go past. God damn it. The guy who made this game has got a great sense of humor. Yep. Fuck it. Oh, wait. Do you see what I see? Open sesame? No, but I think it's these. Boss in the brick wall is an image of a head looking to the left. Boss in the brick wall is an image of a head looking right. All right. Yep. Got to put the head back. You already got them. Oh. Uh, okay. So let's use this. There we go. It has now changed the direction it's facing. Blue key? Oh, no. Uh, we've, we've used the blue key. Yep. Oh, painting. We used the blue key to get in here in the first place. The same artwork that is in the flyer of the Spectacle Circus. What? Why? Is this Weird. where, like, the guy was originally before he started the circus? Maybe. Artist's workshop full of various paintings. There's a painting here of five lined, five trees lined up in all different stages of growth. The passage written on the plaque. Here you go. Poseidon, sea goddess, Amphirity, summons her son Triton at one full hora before midnight. Brighton blesses the warriors at sea by offering the brightest star held in the namesake of Ares. Okay, so that red star is Ares' star. Um, yeah, well, that makes sense. I don't know when to summon, like, where to summon Triton one hour before midnight. 
Huh. It probably matters when we get out on the ocean. Oh, this is... Hmm. The room is home to extravagantly paint... An extravagantly painted mural of the water goddess. That's the goddess? A close inspection reveals that there are small circular covers in the mural. Perhaps there is a way to open those covers somewhere in this monastery. There's a small and shallow hole in the ground at the base of the mural. Whether it's used for offering or receiving is not yet known. Yep. Huh. I see light blue, dark blue, and bright orange. Yep. Okay. I probably not enough. Oh no, that that's enough. Okay, we can now go into the other room. Yep. Um, huh. This is an enclosed perch hanging from a chain. Oh, hey, is that a falconer's glove? Thick glove used by a falconer to train and command falcons. Yep, we're taking that. Nice. Uh, use falconer's glove on self. O okay, fine. Fuck you. <laughs> What's this red thing? A rather small room, but a very cozy with what appears to be some sort of perch resting on the wall. What is this? It it's looks like, like a flower. It's like a sash, but it's just hanging off of the balcony oh, edge. Oh, yeah, the sash behind it, yeah. But I can't... Oh, well. Yeah, okay, so this Wait, is what? just... what? What? can we exit to the north, or to the uh, east? Huh! Ah! You climb over the railing and plunge to your death. Oh, that's why. Thank you, Doom Lad. You're welcome. <laughs> Oddly, I still have the Falconeer's glove, even though I went back in time. It's a time paradox! Oh no! <laughs> Chikra's yep. nest. So much for not auto saving. Well, it doesn't save. I don't remember when the Falcon shows up. Uh, Prime at like 1 p.m. or something? Teradox. Yes. Um, is it 1 p.m.? No, it's, yeah. yeah, at least probably the daytime. Um, recognizing the glove, the bird flies towards you and lands on your gloved arm. The bird is obviously well-trained, and you bring it with you. Eight. What do we, uh, what do we want from the, the falcon, do you think? Did you want to use it to get those berries? You can try it. His name is Rock, apparently. Named after oh. the legendary bird. It is loyal. Wow, you can tell that just by looking. Burb get, indeed. Too easy. Well-trained rock uses its razor-sharp beak to cut the fruit loose of the tree and return to you. So now we have a fruit. Nope. Ripe, plump fruit. You can't tell if it looks tasty or gross. I bet we can use that in the monster. Yeah, probably. Okay, well, for now, I feel like putting this guy back in his cage might do something for us. Yeah.
Ah, it was just that easy. You stretch out your arm and the rock flies to the box. As it lands, the box lowers and you hear a mechanical working in the walls. You know, we could have put anything in that cage. It has a flat bottom. We could have put anything. It didn't have to be the Falcon. It could have been anything. <laughs> yeah. This really does feel like a good Nintendo game. Okay, now now these two are open, maybe? There are small circular covers in the mural. I thought this was open. Uh, is... Maybe it's just the difference in time of day. What happens if you just try and open them? This one open. Yeah. Oh well. So okay, the two are these two, apparently. Back in the bus room, a new path. What? Oh, holy crap! Oh yeah. Yep. Fancy bronze lantern, not for fire, but rather it has a small hole that allows light to escape. Balcony must have been a spot to host various galas and fetus. Are those... I don't think those words are in the Bible. A large, imposing archway sits off to the side. Small marble bust. Far side well, of the let's archway. grab the other bust. Because this one got smashed. Huh. Not a bad idea. Hang on. Nope. Oh, very good. Um, hmm. is there anything else? Who's yeah, this? we could try taking the lantern, but I don't know. Yeah, well, we could. Oh, no, that worked. You take the lantern and carry it with you. It will probably come in handy later on. Just like the abacus did and the saber. Ooh. Ah. Ah. I was certain that was going to be it. This lower balcony area rests upon the water's edge. It overlooks a vast sea. I'm really confused as to how the desert works, considering that the desert stretches in all directions forever, but somehow it's next to the ocean. Are there... Yep. Are there desert oceans? Saudi Arabia is kind of like that. Mm, I guess it makes sense. Uh, it's a mural. It looks like the only thing in here was that uh, firefly. Yep. There are levers here that can be used by hand. Maybe part of a larger mechanism. Oh, they're the trees. Oh, you're right. Oh, that's... God, you're, you're so much better at this than I am. All right, you can clearly see the complex system of gears here. It must control some mechanism in the monastery. Such, fan, such fascinating machinery for such a quaint society. Oh, it's quaint, is it? It's beneath you. Quaint is such a contemptuous word. You can hear... You can hear movement behind the wall. Could it be gears? Okay, let me... Let me take a look at that painting again. Um... God damn it. It was... Where was the painting? I think we have to switch the bust head direction. I think so, too. And which means I need to take this bust. Doesn't lead anywhere. They could have at least said they're bars. Okay, here we go. So it's probably up, down, up, up, down. Or down, up, down, down, up. Either way. 
Yeah. Up, down, or it up, could, up, It down. could be the ordering of them. So that would be what? Uh, Five, one, three, I don't know. four, two? Because some of these green trees are taller than the other. And some yeah. of these brown trees are taller than the other. It's hard to say. I right. think you might have the idea if it's just summer up, summer down. Yeah, I think it's up, down, up, up, down, but ju just in case not, let me make a little note in my little notepad. Let's see, so it's like tall green, and then dead, and then short green, and then middle green, and then dead. I took a picture of it. Okay. And I just drew it, so. Remember, it takes 30 minutes. It takes like a, a full two hours to walk. No, more than that. It takes three hours to walk from that machinery to that painting room. Just yep. to let you know. <laughs> okay. Use this stuff. What? Okay, that was... Huh. Dozens of venomous bites fill your body with poison and you die very painfully. Well? Shit. Okay, so the order does matter. Yep. So if that's the case, then it's middle. No, no, it's just fucking with it causes fucking vent snakes, snakes that have, snakes that have been there in those walls for centuries, and they're still yep. alive. Door slams shut and holds open up into wall. God damn it! Well, they've evolved. They've evolved like. Plant snakes and mushroom snakes, regular snakes, and it's a all, whole thing. All the snakes. Try one, two, three, four, five. Why? Oh, we could try it the opposite way, so we pull down the two brown ones. I don't. So that would be two and five. Yeah, I don't understand why the middle green would be the first one, uh, DC. But yeah, let's try the offset ones. Nope. I think the second one is the babyest tree. Yeah. All right, well, let us do five, did or the first one. So let's try the first one. And oh. then the fourth one, and then the third one. Okay, so... The first... See, I figured it would be the middle one, then number four, then number one. Oh, when, when you tried the middle one, though, that immediately caused problems. So did number one. That also immediately killed. I thought you did number one, and then did the one after that caused problems. I'll try it. Oh, yeah, you're right. Yeah. All right, so one, then four. Then four? four? Then uh, three. Okay. Okay. All right. Ah. Let's see. It is now four o'clock in the morning. So let's go ahead and walk back. And it is yep. now seven o'clock in the morning. So that was three hours. Oh, hey. Yep. Um, and we okay. So now there are holes. 
So we have to wait until one hour before midnight, right? All right, yeah, let's... I think it was something like that. Okay, well, well, it's time to start fucking around with time. Okay, 13, so 6 would be 1,900. Okay, so now we need it to reach 2,300 o'clock. Okay, that's 20. 21, and then for three hours, you just walk through a doorway. That's 22. And that's 23. Nice. Incredibly, an orb of water manifests under the light of the stars. There's an orb, orb of water that just formed here. For reasons. Orb. Yep. <laughs> snakes. Why did it have to be snakes? Well, ancient snakes. These snakes it always have has been, to be snakes. These snakes have been in my family for generations. Am I peeking? No, it says the game's hey, low. You sound fine to me. Yeah. So I know where to use this. The question is, can I get there in time? go it's one o'clock two o'clock yeah probably yes I can get there in time so it's three o'clock so I should be able to use the orb of water here because I've been saying yep. I gotta fill this with water because that's because you get the Sun reflected in it so it'll shine because it's part of a ritual because this is a ritual circle yep it just made sense to me Boom, baby! As you place nice. the orb into the pit, it releases its water into the pond. The water is so still it resembles a mirror. Ah? Huh? A mirror? Ah? Huh? Yep. And then we can throw the sun coin into it once it's reflecting the sun. Exactly. I'm a genius. But we gotta go like back and forth a lot. I think this counts as just wandering around for an hour. Or yep. eight. Oh, I'm one away. I'll move once and then set the uh, yep. staff. Well, not staff. Oh, shoot. O'clock. O'clock, right, to uh, freeze it. There we go. And now I toss the sun coin in. Oh, baby, I'm on fire tonight. Nice. We, might, yep. we might finish this tonight. As you toss the sun coin into the pool, you feel as if you're throwing it into the sun itself. The coin hits the water and you are immediately blinded by a bright light. And there's a key. We need to take that key. Reach out and take the key in hand. Golden key with a mirror shine. Okay, so... I think we've solved everything on the northern side of the desert. Maybe, probably, likely. Yeah. Mushroom, I... mushroom. Sorry. <laughs> the only place that I have marked down as potentially being something is that jump to your death off the monastery. I'm not gonna jump to my death off of the monastery. Yeah. Yeah. But if we get some way of flying, <laughs> yeah, then, then that could take us somewhere. Then I'll try that, sure. Polypheme! Yep. Whee! Alright, uh, let's see. Monster is next. The monster that sleeps no time. Yep. Okay, 
I'm, I'm sure this will be fine. Oh, I have a key now. I guess I really don't have anything else that I could put onto that. Huh. Wonder if the key goes to the... Well, alright, let me try the fruit first. Place the fruit on the ground and quickly step back. The creature emerges from the cavern and begins gnawing at the fruit. Well. <laughs> I, I think I missed a step. Yeah. You might need to stab it or something now. You're just distracted. Where is that pole arm? Nope. 10.30. Must be fruit time to, sta to stab time? I could try the saber. The creature is eating the fruit, but it still blocks the cave entrance. You still have to lure it further away. Oh, there... I see what the problem is. There's no, there's another fruit on the tree, and there's uh, a pile of rinds on the other screen. Remember? Did did I get a second right fruit? There. No, but there's another one on the tree. We just need to go get the bird. Oh, God, God damn it! That's so far away. I thought I got the only Literally fruit. Literally the opposite side of the map. I was sure, hang, really? Because I thought we got the only fruit. Yeah, it's, it's okay. right there, see? Uh... <laughs> I saw it when you were walking by. It's like, oh, that's weird. The fruit respawned. This takes so long. Okay. Can I just take the bird then? What? Probably need to use the glove on yourself again. Okay, yeah. You have to use it on yourself. Got it. God damn it. Everything is so convoluted. It's a pretty game, though, at least. Yep. Okay, we got another fruit. Now, is this thing going to respawn again? Looks like no this time. Looks like now we we can we can do our we can do our thing. I guess. Yep. Alephim. There we go. Save. What? What? I did not. I did not. <laughs> <laughs> Are going down instead? I guess. You're only going like two hours out of your way to go that way. Yeah, yeah, yes, absolutely. <laughs> that that is my problem. <laughs> oh, nice. So we don't have to deal with the crocodile. We just walk past the monster. This is going to be hell getting back. Yeah. Gate here is locked. Well, I have three keys. This doesn't have any use at the moment. 
It's not locked with a color, though, so... Yeah, main entrance of the palace is such an impressive colossal doorway. The gate here is locked. Such a wonderful sight this palace must have been for those sailing from the seas. It's quite a regal home, but somehow also modest. Exferdal. Um, we're getting pretty close to a uh, stretch and hydrate break, I feel like. Why don't we go ahead and save it, and then take a quick break. Besides, I want to get some peanuts. Uh. Alright, everybody. Stretch and hydrate, everybody. We'll be right back. <laughs> 